Hi, I'm Jennifer Waldman with Utterly Simple Designs. It's February and it's time for block number two of our block a month quilt, Pennsylvania patchwork. Here it is again. And remember this picture and the fabric requirements can be found on our website, utterlysimple.com. Also instructions for last month's block, the letter X can be found on our website as well or you could watch last month's video right here on our YouTube channel, Utterly Simple Designs. Now, just to recap, this quilt is 50 by 62 inches and has 12 12 inch blocks. So each month, if you check in with us and sew a block along with us, by December, you'll have 12 completed blocks. You'll just have to sew them together, add a couple of borders, and you'll have a completed quilt top to add to your collection. <laughs> Okay, now let's get started with block number two. Here are the cutting instructions for block number two, economy four patch. From your light purple fabric, you will need to cut two four and three quarter inch squares. From your black fabric, four three and seven eighths inch squares. And from your purple fabric, you will need to cut two four and three quarter inch squares and four three and a half inch squares. Now, once you've cut all your blocks, the first thing we'll lay out is this center section, this four patch. Uh, after the four patch, we're gonna work on these corner units, then we'll put the whole thing together and you'll have a complete block. So in order to do the four patch, you need two purple and two light purple squares, which measure four and three quarter inches. And you'll wanna lay these out so the colors are opposite each other, like this. Then we're going to put right sides together. We're gonna to sew row by row. Put right sides together, pin, and sew a quarter inch seam. I've sewn my blocks in each row. And just an important note, on the back, I've ironed my seam allowance in opposite directions. So towards the purple. Now when we put these two rows together, when we go to pin them, you want that center seam to nest together. And then you'll pin and sew a quarter inch seam. But the reason for that is because you want your, your seams to line up perfectly. You don't, want, you don't want that to happen. You want all four corners of each square to meet perfectly in the center. And by nesting those seams together, that is what will happen. My four patch is complete and my seams line up perfectly. I hope yours did too. Next, we're going to work on our corner units. So you'll need your four black three and seven eighths inch squares. We're going to cut these in half diagonally, corner to corner. You can use a chalk aligner to make a line and then cut. You can use the lines on your mat or you can just eyeball it, whatever method you feel comfortable using. Oopsie. Now, once they're cut, you'll need your one three and a half inch purple square. You'll lay it out just like this. You want your opposite side corners of your square to line with the tops of your triangles, just like that. And it's okay that they overlap there. Next, you're going to line Lining that corner, these two corners up again, right sides together, pin and sew a quarter inch seam. This side is complete. My edge is nice and straight. And now we're gonna repeat the process on the other side, aligning these two corners here, allowing it to hang over, going to pin and sew a quarter inch seam. I've sewn the second side of the corner unit. It's nice and straight. You can actually trim this dog ear. And now we have one complete corner unit. So you'll repeat this process using the remaining six black triangles and three purple squares. Once you have all four corner units complete, you can lay your block out just like this with the four patch in the center and a corner unit on each side. You want to make sure to line up the corner of your square with the center seam of your four patch 
on each side. Now you can eyeball that or you can take your corner unit, fold it in half, wrong sides together, and do a little finger press. And you can lay that down on your four patch, lining up where you just did the little finger press to the center seam, and then pin that in place. Then you wanna sew a quarter inch seam. When you get to this point right here, you'll notice there's the letter X that was created with the stitching when we sewed the black triangles to the purple square. You wanna make sure that you sew right in the center of the X there. That will ensure that you don't cut the point off of your square. When you've finished that side, you want to move to the opposite side and sew this in the same way that you sewed the first side. Then you want to open that up, iron, and then repeat the process with the remaining two units. Here's my completed block, the economy four patch. I've measured it in both directions and it measures 12 and a half inches and I've checked all my points and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So I hope you're happy with yours. I really enjoyed making this video for you today and if you enjoyed sewing along with me, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe and leave any questions or comments below. Also, share with any friends or quilting buddies who might want to join in on this project. If you missed anything, you can rewatch this video, you can watch last month's video, or you can see the full instructions on our website, utterlysimple.com. My sisters and I would love to see your finished blocks, so please feel free to post them on our Facebook page. If you haven't already friended us, you can get there by using the link from our website. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next month for block number three. So long for now. Keep quilting utterly simple.